So now we come to the Action Director software. This is a software that you download from the Samsung website that allows you to stitch your videos from the double fisheye view into a 360 video or a 360 photo. So this is what the photos look like or the videos look like before you import them into this software. It's two fisheye shots, not stitched together. When you import them into the software, I'll show you how to do that. Import media files, select the images or the videos that you want to import in, hit open, they appear in your media library here. Now, photos come in instantly, but videos take a little bit longer. A video that's maybe eight minutes long might take 40 minutes to an hour to actually stitch the video together, which is quite long. So you might want, when you're doing videos, you might want to stick to shorter videos. So you can see your thumbnails for your videos or photos here. On the right hand side is a preview. This preview allows you to scan around the picture, up, down, you can go anywhere in the picture and view it. Where this software falls down though is in the video editing. What you do is you take your photos or videos, drag them into this timeline. So I'm going to take a couple of photos as an example. You can change the time that these um, photos are shown, change the duration settings, or you can put videos in here and what it'll do is output it as a video. You can add music to this. The way you do that is go to the music, click it, and what it'll do is you can search your machine for any audio that you want to put as a soundtrack. You can mix the audio with the video soundtrack with the more music, more video option, toggle here. But where it does fall down is that you can't sync audio. You can't start audio at an exact time on this timeline. So you couldn't, for example, do a voiceover onto a video, it won't start at exactly the same place. What you'll probably want to do for that is export your project to something like Premiere or After Effects. Once you've got a timeline you're happy with here, you go to produce. And then from here, you can either publish your video online, Facebook, YouTube, or you can save it to your computer. You can change the file format and you can change the quality. What you want to do is make sure it's on 4K, 50 megabytes per second quality. That's the highest quality. When I first got this program, I think it was set to a lower setting and I was wondering why my pictures weren't so great quality. To start your render, hit start. Select where you're saving it to on your computer, hit start. So this area here shows you how much free space you've got on your computer. When you start to render the file, it shows you how much time is remaining and how much time is elapsed in the render. Like I said before, when it comes to more advanced video editing, you'll probably want to take this into Premiere. But one downside is once you've edited something in Premiere or After Effects, the video does not retain the code inside it that lets platforms like Facebook or YouTube know that it's a 360 video. 